How do you get a 5,000 pound, nine foot tall dark matter detector nearly a mile underground? Very carefully. In Sanford Underground Research Facility's surface clean room, the Lux Zeppelin collaboration spent months assembling LZ's inner detector. In October, it was ready for transport to the underground. This high stakes move was meticulously planned and practiced. It required transporting the detector from the clean room to the Yates head frame, down a mile deep shaft and through a narrow drift on the 4850 level, all without damaging or dirtying the detector. To keep LZ well sealed from any contaminants during its journey, the detector was triple wrapped in protective plastic and secured in a frame for transport. A forklift slowly carried the detector to the Yates head frame. There, engineers carefully attached the frame to the underside of the cage with slings and straps. The detector narrowly fit in the elevator shaft. A trip that normally lasts 12 minutes took over an hour as the crew slowly moved the detector nearly a mile underground. Once detached from the cage on the 4850 level, the detector was moved through the drift using air skates on a temporarily assembled surface. That evening, LZ collaboration members around the world received news that the move was successful. Now the detector must be installed in the Davis Cavern water tank. There, in 2020, LZ will begin its search for dark matter.